guys have very fond memories of G4 because I'll admit I used to watch G4 a lot back in the day. But like I said, I was more of a tech TV fan back then. But for for you guys that uh, you vaguely remember G4 or I just uh, heard about what happened with Frost, what are your thoughts on uh, G4 finally admitting that they fucked up nine months later? <laughs> I mean, they're not directly admitting it. They should mm -hmm. be apologizing. They should yeah. be apologizing for not just uh, on accord of the individual. I don't know. What the fuck is her name? She calls herself like foreskin or some shit like that. Like, yeah. how retarded? How retarded are you? I just lit that bitch up in, in one of my YouTube videos back in the day when I was like 40 pounds heavier, too. So it's crazy how how fast like time has gone since like basically her little rant. But yeah, that G4 coming back was not like good to begin no. with. Like it was very rocky and basically her doing what she did instantly put them on life support. Like instantaneously. I never seen like a network die so fast. Yeah. But yeah, it, they really are. And it's just like, it, you know, obviously they brought back Adam Sessler because he's old guard. I get that. But you guys should have brought back Morgan Webb instead. Morgan Webb was definitely the better one of the two. Morgan Webb, you could have brought back Kirsten Adams. Um, I know that I think they, they tried to bring back uh, Olivia Munn, but I mean, let's be honest, it's not like her career is really taking off right now. So it they, wouldn't be she the, would the worst ask thing. For that... too much. Yeah. Yeah, she probably. definitely. She she's too Hollywood now. You could already you already could tell that that like is she worth it? Not necessarily, but she would have over asked. I, I heard that apparently. She, uh, I heard she's apparently doing like another Walking Dead spinoff in the future, which is like, well, that's a far cry from um, I guess X Men Apocalypse. So, and and look, maybe you know, I was a, I was a teenager, you know, in G four when I was like watching G four, and like it was just it was one of those bonus channels you would get like in one of the like one of the more premium cable packages it was like oh hey we'll throw g4 this random video game channel in. and it's like oh, okay it's cool but yeah it, you'd watch it you know here and there but um no i mean i i genuinely had a really big crush on olivia munn i'm sure a lot of guys did but um and she had some sense of like a personality and like she was fun however you know and again maybe i'm just uh, was under the spell of you know being a teenager but the no, point she was is willing to like, put herself out there. That's why people liked her because yeah. she was willing to be goofy as shit and make fun of herself. And now, yep. and when she, at a certain point in Hollywood, she just became like, Oh, I'm above this now, you know? And again, yeah. maybe it was when her looks started going or whatever, but I mean, she, she's not, she's not unattractive. It's just like, it's Hollywood. And you know, at least not her face. Well, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> I can't, I can't say. Personality, know, maybe, you know. That thing. Predator movie that she was in was god awful. Yeah. And she, and she torpedoed it too by exposing right. that there was a sexual predator working on the thing, like the week of the movie came out. Like, <laughs> maybe uh, come out that a little bit earlier, not you know, during the promotional tour. I, I do want to say this because Spencer said that he likes Kevin Ferrer. I used to like Kevin Ferrer too, but let me say this. If you don't like Adam Sessler and the things that he said over the course of the last few years, Kevin Ferreira has said a lot of the same stuff. The only difference is, is that when G4 relaunched, Kevin Ferreira actually deleted a lot of those tweets because he yeah. knew that they were going to come back and bite him <laughs> in the ass, where Adam Sessler just completely doubled down and tripled down on everything that he said. So that's why he still gets as much heat as Kevin. But Ke Kevin's not that far off from, from Adam and the stuff that he believes. I'm just throwing that out there. The thing is with, with G4, at this point, the format that existed is outdated. Nobody yeah. wants this whole, like, corporatized um, people talking about video games. I'm sorry. They just look like a bunch of cornballs to me. Um, yeah. Or skin, whatever the fuck. Uh, MG Karen is what I like to have called her back then. Like, she's just one of the many cornballs on the show. And, you know, if, if you can't be raunchy or you know, or just, I don't know, like you have to appeal to the fact that gaming is juvenile. It's a juvenile hobby. Yeah. And it's, it's the place where, you know, kids could get on and talk shit. Adults could get on and talk shit while we're playing fucking video games. It's juvenile. When I play video games, I don't want to act like an adult. 
<laughs> like yeah. I don't, I, I just want to be an absolute piece of shit or just talk shit with my friends and and have fun shooting someone in the face, like you know, and just not taking it seriously. That's the entire point of video games. You know, when yeah. I'm playing video games, I don't want to have to think about my adult life. So if you can't be juvenile, if you can't get with the times, if you can't be, if you can't be entertaining to your audience, if you have absolute disdain for your audience, there's no reason for G4 to exist. And clearly they do not like the audience they are pandering to. So move the fuck on. It's over. Pack it up. And, and, you know, I just want to say here real quick, cause I, I, I like, like to hear what Johnson has to say, but um, okay. I'm just like, I get so frustrated that like all of this stuff, you know, whether it's movies or video games where it's like this sort of like, well, you have to be, you know, you have to be kind and, uh, you know, we, this is how we want our video game community to look where it's like pop mm-hmm. where politics and ideology has seeped into every fabric of society. And, and even like, you know, these social networks and video games and whatever, it's like, it, they, they make for inherently boring content and and they you know wh- whether it's movies or video games or whatever they're not interesting these people aren't interesting they just want to they want to parrot talking points that that i guess they feel make them a better person you know virtue signaling and i just like how do you not have more of a personality than that don't you want to like blow shit up don't you want to have fun when you're playing video games don't you you know every, and there's all kinds kinds of gamers but it's so infuriating to constantly hit the same kind of thing time and again, regardless of if it's movies, video games, music, uh, you know, TV shows. Oh, well, I, I agree with that. It's so hard to escape politics. Like you can't just have fun anymore. Like I remember when cards against humanity came out and everybody thought they were hilarious because it was like all tongue in cheek. And now you can even play that without like, I don't know, someone trying to swat you or something. <laughs> but no, then, I mean, yeah, the- yeah. I I agree with Rob, and for what it's worth, I never watched G four that I willingly like know that I would turn to it for stuff. So I'm getting it confused in my head with the the network that used to like like they would air the 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 Ninja Warrior show. Yeah, Spike. I think they would. So they, maybe I think they had I Ninja did Warriors on that. Them. Yeah, yeah, they actually Ninja Warrior. They they showed like the Japanese version on G four. Then they yeah. did their own version, and that was kind of like the only thing that was actually anyone ever watched. So they just moved that from G four to like uh, NBC proper because they're both owned by the same parent company, and that's how you, how you end up getting that. Okay, well, so okay, so I did watch it as a game, <laughs> but I will say like like. If they really wanted to bring it back, they should have had a better plan. I think they tried to just reboot the old stuff. Like mm-hmm. when you guys mentioned about like it's how it's like a very juvenile holiday or or not holiday um habit game. hobby yeah hobby yeah the mom brain starting to weaken sorry <laughs> but it's like you know what you do then you get Michael Bay to come on as like an executive producer <laughs> you got the hot women over here you got the 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 nerdy guys that just know everything, you know, you get these, it would just be so much better if, if, <laughs> if you could appeal to your audience. And I, like I said, I don't know much about this Frost lady or whatever. I um, think I remember some of the news and just about how it was like this anti male rant or something. And it's yeah. like, I feel like a lot of people just have trouble accepting themselves as who they are um, in general. Like, like you have to be somebody that does like like does all the right things and looks the right way and says all the right things and that's part of virtue signaling so even if you don't look the right way you can at least say the right things like Mm -hmm. like nobody's gonna date seth rogan because he looks good i'm sorry so but he says all these nice virtuous signaling sort of things so i'm sure that helps you know and and I don't know. I don't want to pretend like I am, you know, because I'm not. I'm not like some stand-up comedian who's being edgy, you know. But it feels so good to say the wrong thing. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. this sort of Victorian era, like pearl clutching. If I you, you, I can't believe you said that. This makes you this. It's like it's like it's like the old religious, like how they used to condemn people for not doing what they wanted in society. And you know, it's like that. It's and and again, I. I have a biased view of it, certainly um, for, for, in a historical lens, but it's like, it's that kind, it's a social religion with these people. 
And it's just mm -hmm. like, I would just rather be an outcast. You know, I'd rather be alone than be a part of like a group like that, where it's like, we all think the same things and say the same things. It's like Invasion of the Body Snatchers, which by the way, is my favorite horror movie of all time, 1978. <laughs> um, it, it, it's perfect. It's a perfect metaphor for like, the dumbing down of society and just everyone becoming a fucking pod person. Yeah. I want to answer this question real quick before we uh, wrap up this segment. Uh, I think uh, Neil's asking us, do you think G4 should not have been uh, revived or renewed? Not because of the obviously political reasons. So basically he's says, do they think that uh, they should have brought back G4 in the first place? Here's the problem. And Cassie kind of said it uh, earlier. It's like, Everything that made G4 good, like in the early 2000s and like the mid 2000s, is like it's kind of outdated now in today's platform because we have outlets like Twitch, we have outlets like YouTube now. So it's like, yeah, it was great to get like video game reviews where there wasn't a lot of outlets where you could get video game reviews, but we have that now. Um, the the attack of the show um, thing, which is basically just like a rip off late night show. We don't really need uh, any more dumb late night shows that aren't funny because we have too many of those now too, right? So then outside of that, like a lot of the stuff that they used to do, like, you know, the arena that's been taken over with uh, eSports. You don't really need arena anymore. Cheats. There are no cheat codes in video games anymore. You don't need a show like Cheats. Cinematech. They post all of the trailers to video games on YouTube now. You don't need like a lot of stuff. has just been you don't really like need that platform like anymore. A lot yeah. of stuff that they used to do. So unless you're going to do something kind of new and fresh that you hadn't already done before. There really isn't no need to, to bring back G4, especially considering the fact that 13 years ago, no one watched it then. So, yeah, you got to look at that, too. Yeah. Yeah. That, their only difference is now they blatantly despise their audience. It's just we hate you, but we want you to watch what we have to say. And it's just it doesn't work like that. You morons. Yeah. Fucking stop it. Stop wasting everyone's time or continue to act like a fool. And I can just clown you and. Uh, garner an audience that way. Thank you. you. It's all these people do is give food to the people that they hate. Thank you. Yeah. And that's pretty much exactly like what it is. So, yeah, I don't see this whole uh, endeavor lasting uh, another few months. To me, this feels like when MTV a few years ago tried to reboot TRL and it was like, who's going to watch this? Because everyone who used to watch TRL is like 40 now and they're not going to watch it now. And then the people who uh, were too young to even remember TRL 20 years ago aren't going to watch it now. So who are you making this for? So it's like, I don't know who this, this new G4 is supposed to be for. Maybe it's just for people who couldn't survive a Modern Warfare 2 lobby back in the day. So they need a safe space <laughs> in the game. I don't know. Like, they're, they're, just... they're gonna move to nfts like gamestop has to try and preserve what little they have left yeah exactly good luck with that no, i'll just put it that way but uh we'll move over to our next topic